Hello everyone, this is Grant, Developer Evangelist on the OpenShift team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of our new features, Port Forwarding, which will allow you to connect to embedded services that you have deployed on your OpenShift application. The first thing we'll want to do is list the available applications that I have deployed on my OpenShift namespace. As you can see, I have a PHP 5.3 application called Port deployed. Let's go ahead and embed MySQL support inside of Port by using the rhcctl app command, pass in the application name, dash e, and then let's add MySQL 5.1. Once MySQL has been embedded, the RHC client tools will display the authentication information that we need in order to connect to MySQL. It created a root user with the username of admin, as well as created a default password, and it created a database based off of our application name. As you can see on the connection URL, it's actually on a private network in the 127 address space. So by default, you will only be able to connect to this MySQL database from your running application. With the RHC port forward command, pass in the application name, it will scan the application and look for any available services that can be forwarded via SSH and it will set up a tunnel for us. So at this point, let's go over to our other tab start up our MySQL client just like you normally would pass in dash u for user dash p and then use the default password created by the RHC client tools and then we'll also need to pass in dash h to specify the host that we're going to connect to At this point, we are connected to the MySQL database deployed on the OpenShift server. Once you're at the MySQL prompt, you can issue commands just like you normally would. For instance, we can show the available databases. As you can see, we have a default database called port that the client tools created for us, so let's use that. Let's go ahead and create a table. We'll call it users. Maybe we'll have a username, which is a varcar50 and a password which is varcar50 as well. Let's go ahead and insert some data into that. So we'll do insert into users values gshipley which is my username and we'll pass in my password. And let's go ahead and do another one gshipley2 with a different password. Go ahead and exit out of that. And then let's go back over, let's stop our port forwarding, and let's embed MySQL um, administration support as well. So if you call RHC control app and pass in a dash capital L, it'll return a list of all the supported cartridges that you can embed. One of those should be PHP MyAdmin. Sure enough, it is listed there. So now let's run RHC control app command, pass in our app name, pass in dash E to embed, and let's add PHP my admin 3.4 support. Authenticate with your password. Once PHP my admin has been embedded, you'll see the username and password in order to connect to your MySQL database again, as well as the URL for loading PHP my admin. So let's go ahead and connect via PHP admin. So let me copy the URL, start up a web browser. and the username is admin and let's grab the password again real quick so now I'm authenticated to my MySQL database via the PHP my admin application deployed on OpenShift so let's just go ahead and verify that those inserts and table creation statements that we did via the command line tool on our local host actually did create what we were expecting on the remote MySQL server. So let's go into the port database. Sure enough, we do have a users table. Let's go ahead and browse that table and see what data is in there. And sure enough, we do have two records created inside of that table with a username and password. And it matches what we entered on the command line. One thing to note, when you do run the RHC port forward command on your application, 
the tunnels will only be available while the port forward command is actually running. And that's all there is to it in order to connect to your remote running MySQL or Mongo database on your OpenShift application. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.